What's up everybody? Today we are going to talk about Chad Daybell. And if you think there's even the slightest possible chance that he was set up. Now there's an interview out there that was done by his five children when they were on the television show 48 Hours. Of course this theory is put out there by his children and of course they're going to suspect their father is innocent, suspect that he was set up, he was framed, that he had nothing to do with this. You also have to take into consideration the suspicious nature in which his ex-wife died. When the interviewer asked if their father was involved in the death of JJ and Ty Lee, they all answered no. And then the interviewer, uh, props to him, hit, him, hit them with a perfect question, which was, why were their bodies found in his backyard? And one of his daughters says, I don't know, but if my father was going to commit this crime, he would not be foolish enough to bury the bodies in his backyard. So one of his daughters takes the interviewer to Chad Daybell's property where the bodies were found. Now, Chad Daybell was a professional grave digger, and these bodies were only buried a couple of feet, if that, under the surface. They were very easily found. Would a professional grave digger bury the bodies in such a manner where he knew they could be easily found? Probably not, but if he was in a hurry, sure. And then the daughter shows, look how big the property is. There's lots of other places they could have buried a body where nobody would have ever looked. And then they show the huge property that they own, and she's not wrong. There is a hundred other places on that property where they could have been better off burying a body that probably would have never been searched or looked for, or at least wouldn't have been found so quickly. The family believes that the bodies were planted on their father's property. Now here's a possible theory on what could have happened judging by what Chad Daybell's children believe. So their father is a professional grave digger. These children were only buried just a, a few feet under the surface, really close to the home. Now is it possible that Lori had someone else help her bury these kids, or did she do it herself? I don't believe she would have done it herself, but it's definitely possible. But remember, she had her brother, who passed away in December of 2019, help her kill her husband, Charles. So it's possible that Lori, by herself, or Lori with the help of somebody else, buried the children really close to Chad's house in a shallow grave. Maybe Chad did not know about it at the time. Now, in this theory, do I think Chad found out that the bodies were there before they were found? Absolutely. Do I think he loved Lori so much that he just went along with her plan? Absolutely. Again, this is just in the theory of what possibly could have happened. Lori does it herself or has the help of somebody, which is why the graves are so poorly dug and buries the bodies and then leaves. And then later Lori tells Chad, look, the bodies are there. I mean, listen to the phone conversation that Chad has with Lori on the day the cops are there. He's definitely sad, he's definitely worried, he's definitely stressed that they're going to find the bodies. That's why he tries to leave. If Chad was involved from the beginning, perhaps the bodies would have been buried further away and deeper than right next to his house. What if there's the small chance he didn't and Lori was just using him like he like she used everybody else and he was just another person on her way to whatever it was she was trying to achieve and he loved her so much that he just went along with the plan does that make him 
as guilty because he knew about it and didn't do anything about it, 100% absolutely. He should face whatever the amount of time, whatever the punishment is for his involvement for knowing and then not turning her in or not doing anything about it. The fact that they were on their honeymoon, the fact that they got married and her kids weren't around and he was smiling and laughing. Or where did he think her children were at this time? Maybe she was lying to him the entire time, telling him that the kids were, uh, the, the girl was at school and the son was, and the boy was at his grandparents' house. Maybe he just didn't bother to check. Maybe he just believed everything she was telling him. I don't know, but She's crazy, right? She's still not competent enough to stand a trial. And maybe he just believed everything she fed him. And which led him to now be in prison and be in charge with the murder of the two kids. It's definitely possible. Again, likely? Probably not. But possible, yes. It's just crazy when you think about that, the possibility is out there that he just did this and covered this up because he cared and loved Lori so much. And now he's ruined his life. It's just crazy. I don't know. What do you think happened? Do you think there's any possibility that he was framed or set up? Or do you think he was involved with it from the beginning and just dug that shallow grave because he just wanted to get it done and over with or whatever the reason might be. Let me know. Leave some comments below. Hope you're all having a great day out there and I'll see you again soon.